everyone. This is R. S. Miller at the EndTimeNews.org, and today is August 15th, 2014. I apologize for the quality of this video as I am recording it from a cell phone with limited features. I intend to be back in full operation at some point in the not too distant future, and I hope you'll continue with me until then. Ukrainian military attacks and destroys Russian armored personnel carriers which had crossed the border into Ukraine late Thursday night. Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko stated that most of the Russian military vehicles which crossed into Ukraine had been destroyed by artillery shelling. The Ukrainian military reportedly came under fire from the Russian APCs before returning fire. This appears to be a major military escalation between Russia and Ukraine, which could easily take us down the path to World War III. Although some have questioned whether or not the reports of Russian military units in Ukraine are actually true, there are credible reports as to its validity. One such report came from two different reporters who work for two accredited news agencies. They reported on August 14th that 23 Russian armored personnel carriers crossed into Ukraine. On August 15th, Lithuania's foreign minister stated that he had received reports that 70 pieces of Russian military hardware had crossed into Ukraine overnight. NATO Secretary General Anders Fogg Rasmussen acknowledged the incident by saying that a Russian incursion had occurred overnight, although he did not characterize it as an invasion. Philip Hammond, Britain's foreign minister, warned of very serious consequences if Russian military personnel and vehicles were not immediately withdrawn from Ukraine. Meanwhile, the U.S. is in the process of sending 600 troops, tanks, and armored vehicles to the Baltic states and to Poland. Friends, the situation in Ukraine is rapidly reaching the point of criticality and threatens to engulf the entire world in a thermonuclear firestorm. Whether or not this crisis will actually turn into World War III remains to be seen. However, we are living in the last days, and time is getting shorter by the day. But in the meantime, be sure where you'll spend eternity. It is my hope and prayer that God bless you and yours.